Bar Barnsley's clearly won because they've got so much good players and they should have won anyway. This is Red All Over live at Oatwell on the instant reaction after what was a very entertaining home game against Leighton Orient where it finished with a 2-1 win to the Reds. So, Andy, we'll give you first dibs. Do you want to talk about the referee straight away or do you want to go and just cover the first half where I thought we played very well? I'll talk about a few things really before we kick off. First thing is, just that knowledge that our, our friend Rhys Pearce put some on about uh, somebody that's in the West Stand with him, um, John Wilson. His family, Emma Lockwood particularly, had contacted uh, had contacted Rhys and sadly he, he he died he died of cancer during the second playoff game against Bolton last year and it was his birthday would have been his birthday today after supporting the Reds for 70 years which is even more than me and Smithy so that don't have take some doing 70 years so rest in peace John so that's the first bit second thing is. We gave away a weak, weak goal. It were really weak defending. They took it well, but it were weak defending. That apart, we played all right. You know, the rest of the first half, they, they did all right. Their goalkeeper, Bryn, another one on loan from Middlesbrough. There's, there's so much happening in Middlesbrough because he was he were man at match for me. He were outstanding, Solomon Bryn. Made some great saves at first half. Uh, one nil at half time. Orient, who played well, they can they can play football. They can play. Beckles at the back is a right, and, and I'm eating the nicest possible way. Is a right animal. It done half chuck his centre bar and block things off, and they did. That first half, their lives depended on not not not, not conceding a goal. It was the first time that they've lost having gone ahead all season. Second half, I thought we were drifting away, passing to bat at the back. We possessioned the Lerras, we passed it about and I thought it's, it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. Then from nowhere, we're, what, a minute left, two minutes left, a long ball through, which we've been crying for, the mind divvling about with it at the back, get it forward, put them under some pressure. Phillips is up there, I don't know where Adam came from, but it's there, Con, and bump, get in, over goalkeeper, and then the most bizarre thing bizarre thing Luke O'Connell getting sent off absolutely I know he'd been booked it's an absolutely insane decision and then the referee were like shuffling a deck of cards he were getting ca and the only card that he ought to have brought out was to him saying joker because that was absolutely ridiculous he's a flipping joke people say I'm a clown he's an absolute clown today and then, but he ought to look back on that he's an embarrassment it weren't taught by the linesmen, who I don't think the, I don't know what they were doing because so many, both ways, so many balls going out of play and they're giving it wrong way. It it was ridiculous. So he sent off. What do we do? Are we going to sit back and think? Thank God we've got one all. Ten men. No, really, really chuffed. We went for it again. A lovely ball in, and Phillips. Having had a pretty quiet game and me saying to Jonathan, Adam needs to get needs to do a bit more, up he pops at front stick and bunging it in. 2-1. Insane. Well played, Adam Phillips. Absolutely insane. You make your dad proud. Insane. Thank you, Harry. Right, I, I was quite impressed how right. sort of low-key you went on the referee then. I thought it'd been worse. So Craig, first half, I talk about the first half. So I actually thought, other than their goal. We were the much better side and a bit like last week, should have probably been going in at half time, three one up. What did you think? Um yeah, we were massively unfortunate not to go in <clears throat> a good three or four. I mean, Connell had one that just went I mean, the set pieces today, the throw ins from Barry Cotter today caused them havoc. Um until until he hurt his ankle. And um, I, I, I'm sure he, he will limp in the majority of that game until he come off. But in that first half, no, we, we could we could win multiple goals up. They didn't deserve their goal. Um, they, it took it well, but they were, they were trying to do that all game. They were trying to get it to the wingers, get to that byline, drag it back, um, and um, their, their striker at right place at right time against the runner play. Um, but I, I want to just talk about the second half. The second half, they completely switched 
what they were doing. They no longer pressed us. They allowed us back three to keep the ball as much as we wanted. And it really caused us problems. We were passing it sideways, backwards. We were having the possession, but there were no... It was pedestrian it, for a, a large majority of that second half. Until, until Cosgrove come on and he gave us that out ball. That, that big man up front, we could start chipping it into him and we were playing off him and we, we started making moves again. Um, and then, if you're talking about somebody scoring ahead of goal, you'd think it'd been Cosgrove. But it, but it won't, and it was the only mistake their goalkeeper made, because he was, I mentioned it in the preview, I said that he, well, he's been superb for them all season and he won again today. They should have lost by a lot more than they did. Um, and I've just got to, and as soon as we scored, it seemed to really wind the ref up. The referee had been absent the majority of the game. He'd not really called for any fouls. He'd not. He, I think he'd only pulled his card out once. He was allowing them to waste as much time as possible. As soon as we scored, it seemed to really rile him up. I mean, and, it, and then he turned into action man. Then and then he was he was everywhere, blowing his whistle every two seconds, carding everybody we in we in distance. Um, I'm not sure what Connell got sent off for. Not uh, a clue. From, I think from what obviously I sit pretty much opposite. He was sort of having a word about the the time wasting. I think, and he was having yeah. a word about them taking so long to come back and, and kick off. Well, I think it could have been something about the fact that he absolutely got laid out as well. I, I don't think it was anything other than his. his it's got to be his mouth. Mm. It can't be anything other than what he said. But but but, but after that, it's like it's not just that. But after Connell got sent off, the crowd got involved, and I'm and. The crowd was decent today, you know, it, I wouldn't put it in my top ten, but, it, you know, it was better than usual. But as soon as we got involved, did you see how much the players responded to that? Um, you saw you saw Josh Earl getting on the ball and running forward with it. You saw Dejuvene doing the same thing. And this is why I'm saying get them to with Pines in the middle, because they can carry the ball forward. Get Jordan on that right wing back, because... At centre back is somewhat of a liability at times. It, it makes a mistake, and today his mistake cost us a goal. You yeah, know. harsh though because yeah, I know it's about, not, I said about a good strike, but that number ten was stood in absolute acres. Oh yeah, I'm not saying that that, that, that the rest of the defence couldn't have, uh, have nullified that in some way, but it was his initial mistake that allowed them to get yeah, to byline. He ran, he ran and and he wanted in position for when their player got to the byline. If it had been in position, he wouldn't have found it as easy to get there, but. Today, like I say, flat the first 30 minutes of that second half. The last 15 minutes, you could have filled them for whole match with the amount of stuff that happened. And do you know what? Fully deserved today. I think we deserved all three points. And that referee needs to check it out because there's something. You cannot allow them to waste time like they did. Their goalkeeper, we were passing, the ball boys were passing the ball to him and he was just going, oops, no, oh, oh, oh it's there. Oh, I'll just cut you. And it, and it, was, it, it was just awful, awful officiating. And we're not at the worst level of, of, in performance standards, are we in League One? But that that is just bonkers. Right, so Andy, let's uh, let's finish off by talking about Josh Earl. I think he deserves a bit of a mention on his own. It's his second game. He was outstanding against Bolton. And I think today, again, he showed what a great player he is, considering it was his home debut. Again, you know, we predicted when the show on, on Wednesday... Uh, Ford, was it Ford or Ford A? I don't know if he's got, he pronounces it. You know, he's one of their great players. And do you know what? I thought he nullified his game. I mean, they took him off in the end. So, what do you think about Josh Hill? When we signed him, there were a lot of stick for him on, from the Twitter art. Why are we signing a centre half from worst siding, you know, worst siding to, in League One, you know? And he, sh he showed everybody over two games that he is a true, truly quality player. He was absolutely superb against Bolton and he's been excellent again today. I did say he was a brilliant yeah. player in a bad yeah. team though. In, yes, you did, yeah. you did. No, I don't mean you, Craig, far yeah, from yeah. mean you. There were a few times in the first half, well, three times below us, part way through the first half, where he made three outstanding tackles and mm. came away with the ball. The Bobby Moore-esque, it was that good. Bobby Moore-esque, three of them, in space of 10 minutes, he was that good. What what a player he's going to be for us. And absolutely, you know, we, we knew that there were a, an issue in defence and he's definitely one of the people that will make the difference. So easily, easily my man at match. 
I would also like to say that Barry, you, Craig's right, Barry Cotter's throw ins and he's going that right wing were well, good, really good, until he got croaked and he struggled. And then I felt for him because three times up trot, he lost ball and he go out to play and then got subbed before he could put it right. But his replacement, Corey, Corey O'Keefe came on and put in some lovely crosses, one. And I'm thinking, why aren't they dying for it? For a beautiful crossing that everybody just went, oh, it's gone past us all. Instead of somebody dying for it. And then, you know, some of his, some of his free kicks and crosses were really, really good. So Corey did really, really well today. So I'll chuff for him as well. OK, Craig, so we've we've slipped into fourth place, which is, mm -hmm. uh, you know, fantastic. I think we all agree. And, you know, with that game in hand, we're now, you know, I think we're legitimately, possibly in touching distance of the top two. Uh, so let's finish on. What do you think? Have we got a chance automatic? Um, yeah, uh, we, yeah, we've always got a chance. We're one of the best teams in the league. Well, definitely, definitely top three in this league. Um, we just need to believe. You know, I think that's all it takes, and we need to get wound up a bit more. A bit more, like I would say, as soon as we got wound up on that pitch, we completely dominated, um, and we beat the most informed team in the league, and we beat them pretty comprehensively. You know, the the often puff, but they, they, they won't get in nowhere, and the. Like I said, they got they got a goal which were against the runner play. Um, yeah, of course we can. Yeah, top two. Why not? Top two. Oh, it's possible, isn't it? I mean, it's nice to be. It's nice to be fourth. It's nice. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to have a trip to Wembley if we got that far. That'd be nice. But top two would be, uh, be even be even better and say, well, save me a fortune. That's what. Me, me I just too. Hope, <laughs> I just hope that at the start of the season, all the people. I hope they've got the bottle. So many people on Twitter coming out and saying, with this squad. They're going down, we're going down. Mid-table, going for no way, they're going down with this squad. Come back on Twitter and say, I were wrong, because then I think a lot more about you. And I agree, even today I heard the negativity of some people still, still asking the question, what is Collins still doing here? Well, you know, I hope you're right. I knew it your words, because, you know, we're in a great position. He changed the game today. He changed the game today by bringing Cosgrove on. He allowed us that out ball, and we were a lot more attacking after that. You've got to get to him, though. You know, people don't realise that it's, that it's him that makes these decisions. You know what I mean? People have got to understand. Man, being a manager is not easy, you know. And well, it apparently is if you sit, listen to well, a few Well, if you can sit on Twitter all day, you know. I think you'll find it is from top of East End. I'm brilliant. I'm brilliant. Now he got a yellow card as well, which shows that he will get refs some and all, because we, we all were. <laughs> so on that note, um, join us through the week for the uh, preview of review of the Shrewsbury Town game and the preview of the Fleetwood Town away game. And then we'll be back here for the next massive home game against Derby County. Get yourselves down and support these Reds in automatic. Let's do it. You Reds! Right, good evening Red fans, once again another win down here at Oakwell, um, a bit, got a little bit scary towards the end, referee, I think he, he lost the plot a little bit, not sure if it were eight or nine bookings, um, Collins included, I thought it were a good performance by Barnsley, their goalkeeper should have got the man of the match, um, a little bit more steady up front. And I think we could have had a bucket full. I could think it could have been easily five or six. Um, at the end of the day, we've got, we've got the three points. And if we continue playing like this, I think the, the automatics are there if uh, the results go for us. Um, all I'm going to say, Finley's first match here at Oakwell. And what have you got to say? You Out. Again, a crazy match here at Oakwell. Um, straight away, I'll say, man at match, Orient's goalkeeper, he saved their bacon on several occasions. Uh, we attacked, but we, we just were a little bit too blunt, or, or they got a, a sneaky footing to stop us from getting anywhere near the net. And inevitably, they came and sucker punched us. And we, we kind of like lost the plot a little bit for a while. Uh, second half comes, it was all about silly, stupid decisions from ref for me. I, I, uh, I believe it's a second yellow that uh, he got sent off for, so hopefully that means he's only out for two matches and not the derby game, which is free.
because uh, we need him, because he was one of the few players that we played well again uh, today. Uh, but we clawed it back, we battled and we played a full game and we got a win. Yippee-dye-doe. Come on, you Reds.